Southeast Asia easily have some of the best food we have ever tried among our travel, from Pad Thai to curry, from mi goreng to bánh mì. We never left hungry, but did you know that in Asia, they eat a lot of other weird exotic food that you have never even dreamt of eating. You can eat things like bug and chicken fish like it's candy. I mean, hakuna matata, right? You are exploring a different country, so why not push yourself to try something new? Let's go! Top of the list, we have scorpion. Some say scorpion tastes like chicken, others say they taste like crab, crab, yeah, tomato, tomato. No matter what flavor you get from this crunchy critter, the sharp shell about to get stuck in your teeth, eating deep fried scorpion as a scary popular snack in Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and China. But I mean, aren't scorpion not deadly venomous? Well, apparently the venom in the scorpion is neutralized when they are deep fried in the boiling oil. There is also a belief that eating the sting will make you strong and that is good for the male fertility. Next up, we have century egg. Eaten in China and Taiwan, the century egg go by its number of names including preserved egg, millennium egg, skin egg, or black egg to name a few. Based on the nickname, I'm sure your stomach is rumbling, so allow me a bit more time to tell you about them. Century egg can be either duck, quail, or chicken, which are preserved in a mixture of ash, salt, clay, rye husk, and a quick lime for weeks to months, depending on the procedure used. During this process, the white of the egg become a brown jelly, which develop a salty flavor. The yolks turn to a green-gray color and take on rather pungent aroma of sulfur. You can find century egg sauce on the streets as snack or also in dim sum restaurant. Interestingly, they are also supplied at Cantonese wedding, usually as part of the first court platter. I'm not sure a nimble of this could get me in the mood for love personally, but you do you. On the third position, we have rat. Rat meat has been eaten by people in countryside for centuries, but according to 2012 BBC report, it's now considered a delicacy in Thailand, more expensive than chicken or pork. As rats are generally easy to come by, they are an ideal food source for those with little money who live with most remote area. Rat caught in the rice field are the one cooked and eaten, not those that you see running around the street of Bangkok. Well, thank God for that. As well as Thailand, rat meat is also consumed in Laos, Chinese, Vietnam, and Taiwan. The meat is said to be extremely tasty and unique. Anyone up for ratatouille? No, not me. In the next position, we have durian. Devices Asian fruit durian has long been touched as one of the weirdest foods in Asia. Although you may be wondering how on earth a food can be so offensive when you learn that it's banned on public transport in a number of countries owing to its pungent smell, it all began to make sense. The king of fruit which is what they call durian, is known for its yellow-green spiky exterior. However, on the inside, the fruit is yellow and juicy. Many health durian are the world-tasting fruit in the world. However, we can help but feel that it's a little dramatic. Admittedly, it's an acquired flavor. Yes, an electric mix of sweet, savory, and creamy need to be tried firsthand. But widely consumed in all over Southeast Asia, durian is native to Indonesia and Malaysia. However, it is also enjoyed in part of China, southern India, and Sri Lanka. F to give you a bit more of a feel for what eating durian is like, we we'll leave it to the unforgettable Anthony Bourdain, who notably describes the after effect your bread will smell as if you've been French kid by your dead grandmother. Well, not a rainy endorsement. 
On the fifth position, we have seahorse. Regarded as a delicacy in Asian countries such as China and Japan, seahorse are now being pushed to the brink of extinction. Because of the increasing desire for this fish, easily found in areas such as Beijing, Guangfeng Food Market, this marine animal as so as snack on stick, it's also not uncommon for this seahorse to be dry and ground into powder, which then add to tea, soup and wine. As well as being consumed, seahorse are also an ingredient used in many traditional Chinese medicine, believed to bring increased sexual stamina to men and also as a cure to asthma or heart disease. Number 6. Dog Eating dog meat often horrifies backpackers, and it is so unusual in Western culture. Although you are most likely to see dog at pets in the US, this is not the case in Asia. Dog meat is still a thriving trade in countries such as China, Korea, and Vietnam. However, it is beginning to lose popularity, owing to the concern regarding of cruelty. In Vietnam, dog meat is most eaten in not a specialized dog meat restaurant and is even considered to bring good fortune. Either roast or stew, dog meat is also believed to raise libero. However, much like most of this claim, there is no proof of this. Number 7. Silkworm pupa Also known locally as Bel Dengue, silkworm pupa is a popular snack from Korea. Generally, either boiled or steamed, and then seasoned, this pupa is one of the most popular street food in the country. As well as being eaten as a street food, it is possible to buy Biao Dengi in a can from the supermarket. As well as being readily consumed in Korea, silkworm pupa is also eaten in Vietnam, Thailand, China, and Japan. Fun fact! Eating silkworm pupa is a growing trend among bodybuilders. This is because one study found that rats that were fed silkworm experienced increased skeletal muscle strength when compared to partaking in swimming activity. If you want to beep up, this looks like eating silkworm could be more beneficial than exercise. Number 8. Tarantula For any of you with a phobia of spider, why not get over your fear by eating one? Good idea, huh? Crunchy and some would say statifying tarantula, which around the side of your palm, a popular Cambodian food. Yep, that's right. A delicious egg-legged everyday snack. The origin of eating tarantula in the country comes from the terrifying reign of the Khmer Rouge. The Cambodian were starving and turn to harvesting whatever they could find, hence white tarantula. Made it onto the menu, frying garlic, salt, and oil. The leg become crispy while the abdomen remains soft and gooey. Now that sounds delicious, right? Number 9. Kankum Baruk Have you ever looked at a Pokemon and wonder, how would it taste like? Well, the real-life answer to the Pokemon Victory Bells is the Indonesian. Kankumbirux is a type of lemang, where pitcher plants are collected from the grind, uh, stuffed with rice and steam. As well as being eaten in Indonesia, pitcher plants are also regularly consumed in part of Malaysia too. The vendor who sells this plant customize their own version of Kankumbirux dish sometimes adding pandan leaf for aroma or peanut paste to create depth. Unlike some of the Asian food on this list, pitcher plants are not in danger. Some even believe there is conservation value in eating pitcher plant. By preserving this traditional food, we protect the link between human and their natural environment. This means that it's the forests become threatened with deforestation. The local community are more likely to stand up and push back to preserve the forest and their cultural heritage. And at the last position, we have cricket and grasshopper, a popular street food snack in Thailand. You will first encounter with this unusual nibble. It's probably on Khao San Road, as they sit, fry, and crisp with oil. 
glimmering underneath the bright light. Curious backpacker and tourists surround the cart, pointing and taking photo, but few are brave enough to taste the local appetizer. However, eating insects is not just a tourist novelty. This practice originates from Thai countryside, where workers in the rice field have been eating bug at daily, daily snack for centuries. Glasshoppers are caught in the field, brought home, and deep fried to make a tasty bite. Surprisingly, insects are actually a rich source of protein, vitamin, and mineral. But did you know some scientists believe that it would be more cost-effective and environmentally friendly to farm bird to eat rather than cattle? This is because it doesn't take much space to breed. The small creatures are packed with protein, but who knows one day they may just become valuable part of our diet in the West. Thanks for watching. I hope if you enjoy exploring some of the weirdest food in Asia. Whether you are a brave foodie or a curious adventurer, these dishes are sure to surprise and challenge your taste buds. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more food-filled adventure. Who knows what we'll discover next time. Until then, stay hungry and keep exploring the world of food. Bye!